Hello guys, it's Hurricane, and right now we're going to do a just a quick overview on how to disassemble the uh, Maruzen P99C mag, and then we're going to go into a short guide uh, that's a step-by-step -step guide on how to convert it into this style. Now the advantage of having this style is that you can use it in a standard Maruzen P99. Now there's a big difference here in uh, mag height and obviously the regular short mag you can't put in here because of this little uh, mag base plate thing on the bottom. It just won't work, won't go up far enough. First thing that we have to do is uh, disassemble this little guy and it's really not that hard. All you do is you take your thumb, put it here, and you force this out like so. You'll hear a click. There's a little uh, dot right in that little hole there and uh, what you need to do is press that little dot down get it out of the way and now be very careful at this point because uh, stuff will fly out if you do this wrong put your thumb over the little dot as you slide the base plate off like so grab it and uh, you can now take this whole string and follower assembly out of the magazine so we're just going to lay that aside and at this point um, we're going to take out these two little uh, pins right here uh, not all that hard to do but uh, maybe a little tricky on the first try at this point I can just pull them out put those aside there now at this point take your fingers put them right back there and pull this little bottom part out and you've got the bottom off and here's the o-ring goes in the bottom to seal that up so uh... but this is all you really need to do to convert this magazine over to work with the regular P99 so at this point what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all this stuff put it over here so it doesn't get little fragments on it and at this point what you're going to need to do is you're going to take a, need to take a Dremel, a file, something along those lines. You're going to need to try to uh, get rid of these two little wings right here. This is what the base plate attaches to. Um, so you're not going to be able to put the base plate back on, at least very securely. It kind of friction fits, but it doesn't really work. And you're not going to be able to use these mags with uh, the regular P99 with the base plate attached. So not a huge downer since that's what uh, I'm modifying this mag to do. So let's move this stuff out of the way and to get to dremeling. Alright, so at this point you can see that we have removed those little wings right there. Uh, they're not present anymore. Now, really just make sure that you're not going to get little fragments of this uh, metal inside the mag or anything, along, or anything along those lines. Make sure that you get it out of this little crease right here where the uh, O-ring fits on. So at this point, just take the O-ring, slip it on there, take this fit it back on like that and you're going to need to push down to get these pins in at this point it is also a good idea probably to check that your uh, you got those wings off all the way and that they will fit you can slide the magazine into the gun at this point if you want to just to make sure These pins really go in and out pretty easy compared to some other magazine pins that I've done. Um, however, seems like these uh, front pins are a little cranky sometimes. That'll do that though. So that all fits together. Now at this point, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put this assembly back in. Now. You can't put the follower in wrong because it can only fit in one direction, which is that, well, there we go, yeah, that way. Next you fit your spring in. The spring is pretty long, 
So it's going to be a little tricky the first time to get it in the mag. You can normally develop some sort of technique though and get it in there pretty quick like this. This little thing right here is a plate, a little steel, really pretty thin steel plate that I cut out of the um, side of a steel can. Uh, really all you need for this is a pair of scissors and then something to drill out the hole for the uh, the gas valve, the gas filling valve on the bottom of the mag. What you're going to do with this is you're going to put um, what I use is a Gorilla Glue epoxy glue. Stick it all over the bottom of this and then put this on there and make sure that it does not come off and that this little spring in here does not force it off. Okay, when you're gluing this base plate on, um, like I'm doing now, one trick that I uh, really notice helps out is actually on purposely get this little uh, spring base thing. It's not really a spring guide, but whatever. Get that thing stuck in there by putting the spring around it a little bit and then putting it at a weird angle in there with a with some sort of little tool like an Allen key or whatever and uh, just get it stuck in there so that the glue has time to set and once the glue is set you can get back in this little slot right here with your tool and bring it back down alright guys here we are with the finished product there is no BBs in it but uh, just want to do a little proof of concept here at the end of this video slide it in here we go works locks back works pretty sweet uh, I really like this little setup even if it was a little different to use compared to standard mags but uh, just something that I think really helps out when you don't have uh, standard mags available uh, really all that easily so I hope you guys like this if any questions uh, just drop it below and I'll try to answer thanks for watching have a great day